Namaste and welcome to Aura practice. For today's practice, you will need two blocks. Make sure you have two blocks next to you. You may also need a bolster. If you have one, please pause the video and bring it with you. If you don't have the bolster, you can use big pillows or I will be showing the asanas without the bolster. The bolster is just a nice to have option in case you have it. Let's sit in crossed leg seated position, Sukhasana or easy pose. Straighten the back, roll the shoulders out, release the shoulders. Open your palms to the sky. Deeply inhale from the nose, out the mouth, let it go. We will start our practice today with pranayama. It is always good for yoga to have the mind and the body calm and thus in the beginning of the practice pranayama is encouraged. This helps us keep the mind focused from one side and from the other side the breathing technique delivers even flow of energy in our bodies. So you can Close the eyes if it feels right for you today or stay with the eyes open. We will do a quadrat breathing technique. Imagine a quadrat and I will be guiding your breathing into four stages. We will inhale to the count of four. Keep the breath in to the count of four. Exhale to the count of four and keep the breath out to the count of four. Close the eyes and let's start. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one. Deeply inhale from the nose, fill the lungs with air, out the mouth, let it go. Inhale from the nose. Keep the breath in. Out the mouth, exhale, let it go. 
third in the last time. Inhale from the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. Now bring it back your normal way of breathing. From here, let's recline and meet in bridge pose, supported with a block. Take one of the blocks, lay down on your back, lift your hips up and place the block below your tail. Make sure it's not on the lower back. You can again keep your hands facing the ceiling or if you need to feel more grounded today, you can rotate them to the floor. You can close the eyes if you wish. Deeply inhale from the nose out the mouth and let it go. Today's practice we will work for the shoulders, arms and we will open, we will work to open our hearts. We will tackle the spleen and stomach meridian and knowing its importance for good quality sleep, no doubt that this meridian will be in the center of our practice. In the same time, in this practice, we will work with Anahata Chakra, this is the Heart Chakra. Together with it, we will stimulate Root and Sacral Chakras. Quality sleep is what we aim as a benefit out of this program. And any time to do in yoga is a suitable time, but maybe the best time for in yoga is in the evening when we are preparing the body to go out of the normal go, go, go status to go out of the fight and flight mode and enter into the rest and digest mode. And this switch seems to be very difficult for modern people. In this including myself. I know from experience how hard it is to manage all the roles and responsibilities that we have. And in the same time, find the time for myself, for my wellness, my goodness, and my rest. So now, it is great that You've chosen to invest this time in yourself. And yes, today we are not building muscle tone, nor will we be burning the calories that we intake. But what we do on the mat is the X factor for our well being. In yoga has numerous, numerous positive effects on the physical body and at the same time is a very powerful practice that releases our nervous system and in the meantime we are practicing our brains. Slowly keep the hips up and take out the block we will be moving slow as always here, so lift yourself up and place the block behind you. Take the other block and place it on the top of the mat, on the highest height. And here 
start to recline by holding the first block, lay down on it and then find with your arms the second block and place it below your head and bring the hands close to your body. In case you have the bolster at home, you can do similar construction, but put the first block on the lowest height and the second block on the highest height. Then place the bolster behind you so that the bolster is touching your lower back and the bolster ends up on the high block. From here, start to recline back. You will feel slightly more comfortable if you have the block. You can keep the knees bended or you can extend the legs. Make sure you open the chest you roll the shoulders down so that you feel this expansion in the area of the chest. In this pose, we are stretching the intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs. It's a powerful heart opener. It is also helping to stretch the neck, it releases the tension from the shoulders and together with that is stretching our abdominal area. In case the thighs are on the floor as they are now, as mine are now, we are also stretching slightly the area of the upper hips. It's a very relaxing and restorative pose. Breathe and bring your attention to the breath. Every time you find your mind drifting away, gently bring it back to the practice. Bring it back to the breath. This supported fish pose is very pleasant and uh, help us really release the nervous system, release the tension that we have collected in our bodies. Aura stands for physical, emotional and mental field that is around our body. It's like a electromagnetic field, I like to also call it, which reveals everything that is going on in our inner world. We communicate with other people on the level of energy first. And this is why sometimes you meet people who are like honey. You meet them and you instantly feel that you would like to be with them more and more. Because these people, they have strong, positive vibes, which we catch very quickly. And in the same time, there are people who have more heavy vibes and these are the, the negative vibes that we feel and these people we tend to avoid. 
we communicate among us on very different levels. It's been researched and proven that the words we use stand for less than 10% of the overall communication tools that we use. The non-verbal communication, the body language, the energy that we put in the speech is what forms the overall impression. And what we do today on the mat, we are cleaning our aura from the negative vibes that we have collected from people around us, situations, etc. And we are charging ourselves with good vibes. From here, let's slowly start to lift ourselves up and let's rotate our body to the right side. Sit on your right side. Take the bolster out and you can choose to be only with the two blocks. If you choose to be with the two blocks, place the second block on the second height and the, high, and the, the first block on the second height and place it on your, in the area of your ribs. Then rest your temple on the second block and open the left arm like this, you can straighten the right arm. You may choose to come in this pose, having the bolster beneath the ribs, in case there is big sensitivity and it feels painful. And today you need more comfort, for example, feel free to do that. I will choose to keep the block on my ribs because together with the stretch it presses some points uh, which are placed in this area and stimulates the intercostal muscle tone which we target in this practice. I will personally choose to stay like this. This pose will stretch our intercostal muscles even more on the left side in our obliques. Together with that, it um, promotes lower back pain release. So in case you struggle with lower back pain, it's very beneficial for you to be in this pose. Ancient yogis knew how to clean their aura, how to charge their aura with the vibes they wanted. Yoga came 5,000 years ago and uh, their ultimate goal of yogis back then was to find the ways to control the mind. And today, the ultimate goal of yoga did not change. Although in modern times we perceive yoga more like a physical practice, this, uh, uh, this asanas, Practice is more perceived as yoga and um, pranayama meditation is not oftenly perceived as yoga, but these are the key practices. They are in the core of our overall yoga philosophy. Ancient yogis say that the one who knows how to control the mind is the one who knows how to live their life, to manage their lives. 
But the mastery comes when you learn how to manage your energies. And with the practice of yoga and living yoga, we are learning to manage our minds. We are learning to manage our energies, to recharge our energies, to clean up ourselves. As we clean our houses, cars and uh, surroundings, it is always important to maintain good hygiene for our being, not only physical, but mental, emotional, to keep this hygiene on all dimensions of who we are. Now let's start to slowly lift ourselves up by first lifting the left hand, press the left hand, lift the temple and slowly rotate. You can simply rotate to the left. I will switch directions so that I stay facing you. With the right hand, keep your first block and rest your ribs on it. And then find the second block and rest your temple. Once you find stability, straighten the left arm in front of you and lift the right arm. There might be discomfort or even pain in the right shoulder. But find your way to approach the pose in the best version for you today. Breathe here and every time your mind drifts away, gently bring it back to the practice. And don't be worried when you see that your mind is leaving the practice. It's the very normal behavior of our minds. This is how the brain works. Celebrate every time you notice that your mind drifts away because this is already mindfulness and awareness. This is the first step. And the second step is to bring the mind back to the practice. This is already management. So, we are practicing to tell our minds where we want them to be and not to let them do what they choose to do. Breathe and enjoy the nice relaxation feelings that you feel. And from here, let's start to slowly lift ourselves up again with the right hand. Help yourself take one block out, then lift yourself to cross leg seated position or Vajrasana. I will choose to stay in Vajrasana. As we are working for the shoulders, Today, let's bring some yang into our in practice by lifting our shoulders up and bringing them down. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We will be here for one minute. 
Make sure every time you lift the shoulders up, you really press them as high as you can. And every time you press them down, make sure you feel the elongation here in the area of the neck. And you really try to touch the floor with your fingertips. Consciously move the shoulders and feel what you feel. You can choose to close the eyes if it feels right for you today. Excellent. Now come to the center and let's open the hands like this. Bring your elbows on the level of the shoulders and open forearms. Make them uh, horizontal like this and let's start to do some shoulder rotation by clapping down and lifting our forearms up. Continue with these movements and again make sure that you are fully aware of the sensations. Another minute we will stay here. Keep your hands strong muscles engaged and the attention is in the sensations that you feel during this slow movement. Breathe here. We will be here for another one minute. Excellent. Now release the hands and let's shake them. There is a lot of tension that we collect in our hands and legs. So let's release everything that is no longer serving us in a positive way. And I will now move into this direction so that you see me better and will continue to sit in Vajrasana. Place your hands in front of you and tuck your toes beneath the feet. Then sit on the heels. I hope this is comfortable for you. It's a very strong toe stretch which help us to stretch our feet. Bring your hands behind the back, interlace the fingers and open your chest. And here you can lift your hands up to the extent that your body allows you today. And close the eyes. This pose is a bit more challenging as we work in the meantime, we work with the feet, stretching the feet, our most loyal servants. And we continue opening the chest, the heart, while stretching the shoulders. We will be a little bit on the shorter side in this asana. But please keep your attention in the sensations of the body. They definitely are intense. Breathe and make sure your breath is deep. Again, you can close the eyes. Every time we close the eyes, we promote introspection. And breathe deep. Let's first release the hands. It might 
be painful, shake them again a little bit. Then place your palms on the mat and slowly release the toes. Place them on the mat and very gently, very gently sit on them to counter what we did. Feel the nice release after the pose. And let's move to the next one. Sit on the mat. Bring your feet next to each other. We can make, bring the feet next to each other. Try to catch the fingers or try to catch your ankles, wherever your body structure will allow you. Make sure you will keep your back straight. And let's lower ourselves down, but avoid rounding your back. You can make it more gentle today and bring the block on the highest height and place your bolster on top of it and rest your head on the bolster if this feels right for you you can do it like this if not you can just stay with the straight back as straight as you can or lower yourself down by pushing and pressing gently from the lower back, keeping your heart up as much as you can. And we will be here for another three minutes in butterfly pose. In yoga has numerous benefits. On the physical level, in yoga promotes mobility, flexibility and pliability because we work with the joints, we stretch our muscles, connected tissues. We also work with um, the overall hydration of the body. During these deep floor stretches that we hold, we promote higher blood circulation in the areas where we stretch. This blood circulation promotes deeper hydration. And where there is hydration, there is rejuvenation. And this is why often in yoga is called the fountain of youth. As I said, we are also working heavily with our mental health because our minds are becoming exhausted and overwhelmed very often. In practices like in yoga, pranayama, meditation, we help our mental body to really release all and everything that, that is disturbing us. We are quieting down the mind and with this we promote faster entry into our inner self. Because only when we quiet down the noise of the mind we can hear the speech of the heart In the same time, there is big benefit for our emotional body doing in yoga and opening our joints. We release all the emotions that we could not process. And these emotions are very often found in our joints. Now with butterfly pose, we are opening our 
biggest joints, the hip joints. And there, normally we tend to collect many of those emotions that we would prefer not to touch. Deeply inhale from the nose and out the mouth, let it all go. Everything that is no longer serving you to be the best version of yourself, let it go. Slightly start to lift yourself up and now let's just open the legs. Let's open the legs and we come to Dragon Flight. Again here, straighten the legs, straighten your back with the straight back and the heart up. Start to lower yourself down to the extent that feels appropriate for you today. You can keep a block beneath you. You can rest your forearms on the block. If you feel like you need to treat yourself today, you can place the bolster in front of you and rest yourself on the bolster. As long as you feel the stretch in the inner thighs and the back side of the thighs, you are fine. Again, don't round your back even if you are on the bolster. Press your lower back down and breathe. Close the eyes and breathe here. We'll be for another three minutes. Every time your mind drifts away, gently bring it back to the practice. Bring it back to the breath. Feel how nice the release of the tension of the legs feels after some time in the pose. Make the pose sweet and in the same time efficient. There is a lot of tension in the legs. Allow everything to go out of you. here start to slowly lift yourself up. If the bolster is with you, take it out, take the block out, take your knees from the outside and close the legs and let's make our way to our final resting pose Shavasana. If you have a blanket, cover yourself you can also slide to bed if this practice is done. Before you go to bed, you can make your Shavasana in bed. Otherwise, close the eyes. Deeply inhale from the nose, 
out of the mouth, let it go. And give yourself permission to be fully, fully invested in this last two minutes of rest. Make sure each breath you take will be accompanied by the mind and every breath you exhale will be also registered by the mind. Last two minutes. Slowly start to move your fingers, your toes, wrists and ankles. Lift yourself up. Sit in a cross-legged seated position. Place your hands in front of you. Bring them to the forehead for clarity of thoughts. Bring them down in front of the lips for thoughtfulness of speech and bring them in front of the heart for consistency of actions. Lower yourself down and give gratitude for the inspiration that took you on the mat and for the effort that you made on the mat. Lift yourself up and let's finish with our final prayer. May we all be healthy May we all be happy. May we all live in peace. Namaste. Thank you for the practice.